Hello everyone! This video is going to show you how to make a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to make a presentation on the project or the collage that I did on a banana slug. So to start here, once I, so once I opened up PowerPoint, it came up with one slide and it says click to add title. So my title, I'm going to click there and then type banana slug. Click to add subtitle. I'm going to click there and then I'm going to add the scientific name of the banana slug. Arley, or Ariolamax uh, Columbian. Oops. Um, and then I'm going to press enter and enter again. I'm going to put by, enter again, and Claire Kerwin. Okay. I want to make our the, the scientific name larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. And then when I select it, this will pop up. And this is the type of font. All these fonts. And this is the size. So I'm going to go with 36. Awesome. Um, let's see, another way to do that can select. And if I go to home, this is the font here, and this is the size. If I decide that I want a different font, I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm gonna go Century Gothic and I'll change this to that too. So selecting all, going up here, going to Century Gothic. There we go. Okay, I am going to, so this is my title slide, I'm going to insert a picture. Insert so click on insert and then go to pictures. I have some pictures of my collage saved on my computer. So I'm going to go to this device and go to upward bound. And here are my pictures of my collage. So my thought was that I would make or that I would put the picture of the whole collage as the background. Oh, for some reason, oh, here we go. Okay, so something oftentimes will come up on the right side here. And this is what's called the designer. It is super fantastic. I've been using it all the time to make my slides. If it doesn't come up for you for some reason, click on design and then click designer. That'll also close it. So click on designer and I'm going to do, let's see, see more design ideas. I wanted to have my drawing or my collage in the background. Yeah, there we go. So banana slug. This changed the font. That's what they'll often do. So I'm going to change that font back. Back to home. Going to Century Gothic. If you go to recently used fonts, it'll be up there. And going down to 28. Again recently used fonts and okay next up I would like to add another slide because there needs to be the title slide five slides in this 
middle, and then the bibliography slide. So new slide, um, when you click on new slide, this will pop up. I'm going to go to title and content, add slide. Then what I'll do is I'm going to do insert pictures, this device, and I'm going to choose part of my collage to focus on. So I took pictures of different components of my collage and I'm going to go to this one. It's in the bottom left corner. Awesome. Again, this design designer will pop up. I'm not sure why it keeps flipping them. But if you need to flip it, there's this little squirrely arrow thing. Okay. And I can choose a design. What do I want it to be? Maybe this one. You can also do see more design ideas and more and more will pop up. But I want it to focus on that part of the collage and then I'm going to add some information. I'm not going to worry about the title. So if I don't want that, I'm going to select the box, which happens when you do this little um, four arrow thing. Then I'm going to delete it. Okay, but I would like to add some text. So what I did here was I took note of banana slugs uh, eat mushrooms. So that's why I had a mushroom there. And then I'm going to put they digest the mushrooms mushrooms and plants to become soil and then I found some moss with slug slime so I'm gonna just like put moss with slug slime And then I'm going to talk about that environment a little bit. Um, so maybe banana slugs live in moist forest. Awesome. So that's what that is. If I want to move this, I'm going to go up here. Maybe I want for this to be have some uh, bullet points next to it. So I'll select it and then click on these bullet points. Oh, I think the bullet points are green. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe I'll change this to a different design because it's being a little silly. There are all sorts of designs that come up. I want one that has, I like the circle ones. But it's not gonna do any more for me. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll go with this. There we go. Okay, banana slugs eat mushrooms, they digest mushrooms and plants to become soil. Moss with slug slime on it is in there. So maybe um, instead of that, banana slugs live in moist forests, often alongside moss. Okay, fantastic. Now I'm going to add a new slide. Title content. Um, I'll probably just keep this the same. 
format. Um, but let's see here. I'm going to do another insert pictures, this device. And then I'm going to click on the next piece that I want to talk about. So I want to talk about this hunk here. This design will come up soon. Still not sure why it's doing that. Here we go. I'm going to use the same for each of them, I think. Leaving that, and here we go. So I found a leaf with um, some like pieces taken out of it. I've also found slug slime on it. And so that slug slime told me that the leaf was actually eaten by the banana slugs. So banana slugs eat They mostly eat at night. That's why there's those stars there. And hide during the day in shaded areas. And then again, there's like this forest there. Um, there's this, this forest here. There's these leaves. Kind of just a repeat. I put this on here. Where is this slug now? So maybe I'll put, I'm curious. Where is the slug that ate this leaf now? Okay. And then I'm going to continue with another slide and another slide and another slide until I have five that show those pictures. So I'm gonna do this right quick. Okay, so now I have three other slides that I'm going to put information on. So I'm going to make sure that I explain fully what's in the picture. For this one, um, garter snakes are one of the main predators. Of banana slugs. And let's see what else did I put. I put on here maybe text or reference. Here I would put like dot, 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 article. And their symbiotic relationships. Um, there's also some Western Red Cedar on there, which is similar to um, 
yeah, actually, banana slugs have a symbiotic relationship with western red cedar in that they will eat smaller trees. Smaller trees, like um, when they're young, when the trees are young. That would compete with the cedar for resources. Let's see, what else? Um, I interact with banana slugs while hiking. Great. There we go. Next up. This one, let's see. So there's a banana sticker on there. Banana slugs are named banana slugs. people thought that they looked like bananas. Um, there's leaf litter there. They also eat leaf litter. And then in this last one, that's where I'm going to explain these dots here. So here we go. Let's see, I put in those uh, dots here because they are symbolizing eggs. Let's see, so um, I also put in this sign for her hermaphrodite. So banana slugs are hermaphroditic. I probably didn't spell that right. Um, they lay up to 20 eggs, they're kind of translucent, um, their slime, this kind of looks like slime down here, their slime helps them breathe and keep moist. toxic to many animals. And then I found this feather. This feather had um, slug slime on it. It was on the ground and a slug traveled. And then I put change down here. Slugs change their environment because they eat leaf litter and other plants and turn them into slime. Okay, so I would phrase this better. I would go into more detail, but this is just a quick one. I am going to insert one last slide, and this is going to be my bibliography. And then here I'm going to put the articles that I used and any pictures that I used. So articles, I used two. So article, well I actually use one article, one database, and then I think I used four pictures. Three pictures. So I'll just put picture one, picture two, picture three. All right, and there we go. So this is all going to be in MLA format. And one of the things that that means is that I'll have to go back through this and cite where I got that information. And there will either be another video on that or there will be some support in study tables. All right, that is what I have for you. And.
good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.